February is Low Vision Awareness Month, and to talk about that and a wonderful program right here in our own backyard in Charlotte, I'd like to welcome to the studio Carly Long, who's in fifth grade, her mom Hi. Kelly, and also <laughs> Ali Romero with us. Thank you for joining us. For those of us who may not really understand, what does low vision really mean? Yeah, so low vision just means vision that cannot be corrected with glasses or contacts up to like 2020. And there's a program here in Charlotte called the C program. It's an after school program. Carly, you're one of the students. Tell me about it. What do you do and how is it geared specifically towards children who may have visual impairments? Yeah, so our program is at Sardis Presbyterian Church. We um, run our program four days a week, Monday through Thursday. It's for kids who um, have varying degrees of uh, visual impairments. Um, we do all kinds of, we have stations, so we do activities like living skill activities. We do um, crafts. Kelly run, is one of the teachers that runs our craft stations. Um, we do mobility, so learning to travel, navigate with their canes. Um, we do some community service outreach um, every Wednesday. Um, in the month of February, we're making beds and setting tables for room at the end. Um, we do monthly events um, where we are going out into the community and doing things like ice skating or um, making we made bread wreaths at Nova's bakery um, so we do we also try to do a lot of fun things for the kids that are geared specifically around their visual impairments and like games and things like that and Carly what do you like about the program after school my favorite thing about C Charlotte is um, I like to learn new stuff and play with my friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. and, and Kelly, what has it been like to have a program geared specifically toward your child here in Charlotte? Well, I think one of the best things about the program for our family is it gives Carly a chance to make friends um, and hang out with kids with visual impairments like herself. Um, at school, she just doesn't have the opportunity to create um, really deep social interactions like she does at the program. So, And one of the awesome things is that this is at no cost to families, right? That's right. right. And so if there are other families in the Charlotte community that maybe have children who would be a perfect fit for this, how do they yeah. go about getting involved? So they would just contact me directly. Um, we have, my email is on the IFB Solutions webpage. We also have a Facebook page. So just contacting me and then we would um, have the parent and, and child come out and experience the program, see if it's right for them. Um, and then we would just go from there. Because this is all run through the nonprofit IFB Solutions, yeah. uh, funding is a key part, funding from our community. So coming up in August, there's going to be an opportunity for members of the Charlotte community to give back to this in such a great cause. So there's mm -hmm. an event that I'm happy to be a part of that I'll MC called Dining in the Dark, August 13th. Um, can you explain a little bit about this fun event and how we're going to allow people to experience <laughs> what life may be like? Yeah. So it's going to be um, an experience where you get to enjoy a three course meal without your sight. Um, but it will be optional if you don't want to wear a blindfold, you don't have to, but if you would like to experience that, um, it'll be something neat and different to do. And then we will um, incorporate light slowly um, near the end of the meal. Um, and then we'll have some information at the end um, during our dessert. And anyone who's yeah. interested in participating or giving can find that information on your website, right? That's correct. Yep. All right. Carly, Kelly, and Allie, thank you for being here with us today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>